Hey, welcome back guys, it's King Gunner with the Video Game Kingdom, and we are back with our Let's Play WWE 2K14. This is Universal Mode 3.0, as you know, we got a big announcement. Uh, we have, in fact, canceled main event. It's lost its TV deal on Ion, and it is now gone. It's out of here. So now it'll just be Raw and SmackDown each week. I want you guys' help, though. Try to think, I'm trying to think of a, a show we can do once in a while, like a Clash of Champions type show. Maybe we'll even do that, where maybe we can add it once a month or once every other month to the programming. But with that being said, we are on week number one, SmackDown. I think this will help us also get through the weeks quicker, as you guys know. So SmackDown's here. Make sure you guys vote. Let us know who won the rating award, Raw or SmackDown. So with that being said, we're going to get this party started and start off with Brodus Clay versus Santino Morella to lead off the night. Let's go ahead and simulate this one because it's not that, you know, you know what matches we play, motherfuckers, you know. Santino, Santino gets the big win over Brodus Clay. Then we move down, and I am making my SmackDown debut. Me and Swagger, the Revolution, is stepping in there with the shield. The Revolution and the shield. This ought to be good. Let's get this party started. We got a huge SmackDown for you guys tonight. Wait till you guys see all the matches. Huge SmackDown. You guys, I, I, I personally think, will thoroughly enjoy this. Let us know who won this week's ratings so we can add it yet another one of them legends to the roster. If you guys didn't watch that junk on Monday Night Raw, uh, then you guys, may not, trash. you guys You're may not. Trash. You guys may not be aware <laughs> of the trash. trade. Randy Orton, Sin Cara, Rey Mysterio, and Sheamus have been traded to Raw. For Bill Goldberg. So Goldberg is now signed to SmackDown, ladies and gentlemen. When he will make his debut, don't know. But I'll tell you now, he's signed. And he may even make an appearance here tonight. We got the Shield on their way out. The number one contenders for the tag team titles are the Shield. Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, who found a way back on the winning ways even after Roman Reigns left. So we'll see how things go. We'll see if Roman Reigns does, in fact, make an appearance here. I don't know what kind of, you know, how their situation's really going. Is Roman Reigns in the Shield beefing now, or what's going on? Maybe we'll we'll find out a little bit more here tonight. But they got a huge matchup against the Revolution. Who will come out on top of this? I don't know. JB Gunner himself has only lost one time, and it was a triple threat. It was a triple threat in which there was a lot of shenanigans going on. Oh, yeah. JB Gunner has tapped out everybody. Jack Swagger, we know, can tap out some boys. These boys together, the world champion, the WWE champion, the best in the business right there. Swagger. I thought Swagger King. lost the title to Big Show. He won it back at the pay-per-view. No, I thought Big Show would have retained it at the pay-per-view. No, you thought wrong. But you went to bed. Right, sir. No, because I finished that watching the piece of Those two men dominate the WWE. They are, in fact, the elite of the WWE. WWE champ, world champ, JB Gunner, Jack Swagger, the revolution is real. Jack Swagger has joined the revolution to represent America, especially now that Chris DeLiberal Lee has been vanished. Uh, that, that kid that poops his pants all the time has been vanished, <laughs> vanished, what do they call him, bird or bald eagle, you know. But anyway, they're ready. They're getting in here. The champions of the world. There is no two wrestlers on this planet better than those two wrestlers right there. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure Dolph, or, uh, Jack Wagner just spit on somebody. You know what? Maybe. It is what it is. They are the, the champs. There's no, there's no, there's no getting around that. They are the champs, period. And here they go, King Gunner, JB Gunner, who has tapped out every person he has been in that ring with, and he's putting the, he's he's laying them left hands right on the head of of Dean Ambrose, and he nails him with a kick, and he goes after Seth Rollins and kicks him out. Dean Ambrose caught him though. JB Gunner should have been paying attention. He's in a little bit of trouble now. I still don't know why the shield wore bulletproof vest. Man, it's part of their gimmick. Alright, here we go. The shield. Oh, They're in so, trouble. so your wrestlers have gimmicks. Yes, the shield has a gimmick. 
They are police officers. Or uh, kind of security type thing. And J.B. Gunner throws Dean Ambrose into the ring. Line. Yes, it is. J.B. Gunner throws him into the ring. And he's got to, he's going back on top and he's pounding his face. He's in a lot of trouble. I think there's a... I think there's a... Oh. I think this is just one of the many great matches of this show. This show is good enough to be a pay-per-view, I can tell you that. It is, oh, look at that. He just took his head off and then kneed him right in the mouth. You never know what you're going to see on SmackDown. Seth Rollins pokes him in the eye. Oh, nice reversal by JB Gunner. JB Gunner showing his ability again. And I think oh he goes he's going for a submission. No. Seth Rollins reverses it. Oh, and he drop kicks him right in the face. The WWE champion's in trouble. Oh, the, or the world champion. Oh, he's got him now. Seth Rollins, the mouthpiece of the oh, Look at that. He just slammed him down. Now he's going back to pounding on him. Seth Rollins is getting beat up right now, badly. And J.B. Gunner's going back on top. He hasn't had enough. He's still giving it to Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is in serious trouble. Tag Jack Swagger all match. No, he takes out his knee. This match is more like a singles match. Well, it's because he hasn't tagged in yet, dude. And Jack Swagger, here comes your world heavyweight champion. And the two champions are working very well together. Look at the power by Jack Swagger. Oh, as he, he just, just threw him off of the air. And now he's picking him up. Seth Rollins is in trouble. Jack Swagger, Irish whip into the ropes. The Shield are number one contender, so what if Revolution wins? Wouldn't that make them a number one, close to a number one contender? Yeah, it had to. And they are number three contenders. And Swagger's taking it to him. The Revolution. Uh oh. Then, then again, next week there is a... It all depends. Next week we don't know who will be facing the... Uh, oh, Swagger's got him in the corner. Who Sw will be facing the Shield at the pay-per-view? Is next week there is a tag team championship match. We will be facing the. All right, Swagger's got him, and he's uh, uh, the Revolution's just taunting the Shield right now. All right, Swagger's got him up. What's he got planned? Oh, and he takes his knee oh, out. He's going to do the Patriot lock. No, no Patriot. Sw lock. Oh no, Swagger's got him up. Oh, and he drops him down. And Swagger's going to go ahead and go for the cover. The the WWE Champion. And that's it. Ambrose is just a little too the late. Revolution takes it to him. Ambrose, what is he doing? What is Dean Ambrose doing? He's just shaking his head no. Right. Ambrose is, 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 is protesting the count. But Ambrose didn't even try to kick. He didn't even try to break up the count. Actually, he did. He came in. See? But he didn't do anything. He just watched it. Well, then he started to run to it, then it was too late. Oh, the big question. Hey, we know that King, here's J.B. Gunner, Jack Swagger, the two champions of the world. They hold both major titles. Seth Rollins, he's in a world of hurt right now, ladies and gentlemen. And they show why they're the two best on the planet. Jack Swagger picks up the, 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 the pinfall victory. What? Did I just hear they call the revolution the anarchist? Yes. You're no revolution. You're anti-government. You don't even want. Of course, any I'm anti-government. No, you don't want any form of government. That's exactly right. You're an anarchist. Pretty much. Yes. I'm for limited government. Well, okay, that's outstanding. You're a full-fledged anarchist. <laughs> right. Great. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. We don't need people telling us what I, to do. Yeah. All I, right. I, now, with that being said, we got. Oh, the Brothers of Destruction. Otherwise, no, they've now called it, actually they call themselves Hell's Gate now. We have Kane and The Undertaker against the Brothers. This is Brothers against Brothers, ladies and gentlemen. Brothers against Brothers. Let's think, see who walks away with this one. Dust. Undertaker and Kane get what the big dumb victory. Man, dude, he said, I'm going to call it Goldust. Goldust is wrong. Then we have R-Truth versus, versus Christian. What's going to happen here? Christian gets the big victory over our truth Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We have an Extreme Rules matchup. Goldberg and Brock Lesnar. This is Goldberg's debut on SmackDown, and he is stepping in there with Brock Lesnar. 
Oh my God! This could main event any WrestleMania that's ever happened in the history of WrestleMania. Well, if you want to talk crap about our show? You gotta pick Brock Lesnar or Goldberg. That's right. Goldberg undefeated. Brock Lesnar. He hasn't lost. Goldberg a coming. Goldberg lost to Kevin. Goldberg's coming from over from Raw. Brock Lesnar's here. We'll see how I this goes Goldberg's down. Goldberg's not going over from Raw. He's been on Raw for like five minutes. And got no. It was on Raw for like a day. And here comes Goldberg. Gets no bigger than this. Goldberg, Brock Lesnar. Coming out Lesnar. the right locker. I'm surprised I didn't see him coming out Bo Dallas's locker. Why would that be? Because Bo Dallas always comes out his locker. Well, because Bo Dallas is a chick. Oh, Bo Dallas is not. Goldberg, yeah, he was a salesman. Right. Go <laughs> chick. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. Bo Dallas isn't a chick. He would be in the Divas division. And then Bo Dallas is also a David... We got Goldberg on his way. <laughs> Goldberg Dallas was a chick. Why did he wrestle topless? This it doesn't get any bigger than this. <laughs> because he's like showing all his tits. <laughs> on any show that you will ever see, Goldberg, Brock Lesnar. This is. Oh, I didn't dare even realize there was a match going on. I was talking about Bo Dallas's tits. Okay, that's great. Watch the match. All right, here comes Brock. Brock Lesnar, on his way to the ring. Brock Lesnar, Goldberg, a rematch from WrestleMania 20. First time these two men have been back in the ring since. What's going to happen here, ladies and gentlemen? I think they both left the WWE. <clears throat> these two men wrestled ten years ago. Ten years ago. All right, now here we go. All right. Now, let's see. Left together and they came back. Oh, Brock. Oh, Goldberg goes right after him, but Brock picks him up. Oh, my God. He just folded Bro Goldberg up like an accordion. But Goldberg's throwing them rights and left. Like. Goldberg's throwing them rights and left. These two men are fighting. They're going back and forth. I wonder how they. What the relationship Why do you like? care what the. What do you mean? They're not. Boy, but what does that even mean? You, you wonder what the relationship is like. They don't have one, they don't even know each other. Wrestled before Once. And they didn't really like each other during the story. Oh, look at that. Spine Buster by Goldberg. Brock Lesnar's going to poke him right in the eye, though. These two beasts are going at it. And this is an extreme rules match. Goldberg throwing them right hands. Oh, he's got Brock up. And he suplexes Brock. Halfway through the ring. Goldberg. Where's he going? Goldberg's, he's riled up. He said, fuck this. Come on out here. Both are, and these two beasts are outside fighting. They're outside fighting. What's Goldberg going to do? Oh, my God. He just twisted him up. He's in a lot of trouble. Oh, there we go. He did. Uh, he did I think he did run into him. Oh, Goldberg. Brock Lesnar. And we have a drop toe hold. Goldberg's got him up. What's going to happen here? He, he's going for the jackhammer on the outside on the concrete. Is there no padding on that floor? It looks flat. Oh, and he gets him outside on the concrete. Brock Lesnar's in a Don't world of trouble. Car. Goldberg looks like a different Goldberg. He's about as vicious as it can get. And he's going to get a steel chair. And he's going right at Brock Lesnar. How does being more vicious look like a different Goldberg? Wasn't he not always the most vicious? Not like, not with weapons. Not oh, like Brock this. Brock Lesnar was a nice soldier. Brock Lesnar's fighting back. And these two, oh. These two men are going at each other on the outside. Brock Lesnar folds him up. Oh, he, oh, oh my God. These two men going at it on the outside. Now Brock Lesnar's looking for some weapons. Goldberg. Oh, Goldberg catches up with him, though. And Goldberg drops him. Now he's going for a weapon. No, he's going up to the top. He's going inside the ring. What's Goldberg got playing? He's going up to the top rope. Since when can Goldberg fly? Oh, my God. Did he make He landed it. I got right up, too. Oh, my God. What's Goldberg got playing? Oh, he nails him. He's going after that arm. All right, Goldberg's trying to get back in the ring here. He's going. He's waiting on him. And he's going back up to the top. And he dives off. Oh, my God, what a clothesline. 
Goldberg right now. He's just a he's a new man. He's come with a new appetite for destruction. He is here. Brock Lesnar's in a lot of trouble, ladies and gentlemen. He's got him up. He's going for the jackhammer again. Come on, Brock. You can get out and he gets it down. Brock Lesnar's in trouble. One, two, three. And Goldberg gets the big victory over Paul Heyman's client, Brock Lesnar. <laughs> what is going on? Who, by the way, defeated the streak? Oh, my. He did, in fact, defeat the streak. What a, what a war this match was between two brutes. Two huge monsters out here. But it was Goldberg who came out successful in his debut on SmackDown. I highly doubt this is the last we'll see of these two guys. I, I, I highly doubt Brock Lesnar's taking this one laying down. Dude, this could have been anything. This Brock Lesnar's, he, he, he's down. Goldberg, he's celebrating. Wow. Brock looks legitimately hurt. Goldberg doesn't look hurt at all. He, he looks like he barely broke a sweat. Well, he broke a lot of sweats. That match went back and forth. He was, he, he was getting drilled on the outside, suplexed on his neck and everything. Yeah. Goldberg walks away victorious in his debut match on SmackDown. But Big he looked upstairs. unaffected by it, though. Say what? He looked unaffected, though. Well, that's your problem. He was not un... But that man, I'll tell you what, He's here for real. He's here to play. WWE, SmackDown, they're in trouble. SmackDown, brother. Absolutely. What you gonna do when Hulkamania went wild on you? What do you mean? Hulkamania. Hulkamania. <laughs> Speaking of Hulkamania. Extreme rules. Extreme rules. We have Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant. Yes. Ladies, right? Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get much bigger than this. Who's walking away with this one? We got the Immortal Hulk Hogan. We got Andre the Giant in another WrestleMania rematch from WrestleMania 3. Did you know 3. if you save up the four finishers, you could break the ring with Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant? That's outstanding. You could break it, which whoever does it uh, wins the match automatically that's by a, knockout. That's outstanding. You should do that. I'm, yeah, I'll see, be just fine, but, but uh, now Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant are on their way. Here's the hot... Hulk Hogan's making his debut. He's a real American, brother. <laughs> brother? He didn't need a hair hat. <laughs> Hulk How does it feel that your, wrestler, your male, male wrestler is a hair hat? It is what it is. We have female wrestlers that are hair hats, but you have legitimate male hair That's great. Quit disrespecting the ma this matchup. There's nothing you will ever put together bigger than Hulk Hogan versus Andre. Bigger than this. No, now you're like just it. talking ridiculous, and I'll send you out of the room. Here comes Andre the Giant on his way out. NWO. I don't know why he is, has an NWO theme song on. Oh yeah, because of uh, uh, when he was a part of the NWO. I need to fix that shit. Yeah, yeah I think you have Wade Barrett and Andre yeah. the Giant. It is what it is. There we is got Hulk a big Hogan. matchup coming up right here. Well, We're talking over is. people, faggot. All right, now. You have to talk like him. You made the bet. I mean, the dealers here. All right, here we go. We're going to get this party started. Hoagland and Andre, they're matching strength. Andre is going to come out on top on here. Oh, my God. He takes out Hogan. Oh, Andre's going for him. He's choking. But on, Hogan sweeps him down to the ground. He drops an elbow. Hogan near 300 Oh, oh, oh Andre with a big back body drop. Hogan's in serious trouble. Hogan's 300 pounds. Andre's 500 pounds. Oh, Andre's got him. Oh, Andre. He's taking a two Hulk Hogan right now. Both Andre of these. The giant is showing that he has more than a few moves, too. Both. He's such a big guy. Oh, Andrew Hogan really blocks it. Them. Oh, Hogan ddt the giant. The giant's down. Hogan's with you, brother. And he's putting the chops. Oh, he took him down with a chop. Now he's putting the right hands to Andre, but Andre catches his foot. Oh, shit. Chopped him right in the head, then an elbow on the head. Hogan's taking a beating right now. Andre's got him. Here comes that gut wrench suplex. No, he just threw him like a rag doll. Look at the size difference. Oh, hell yeah. And Andre's got him. Andre throws him into the turnbuckles. Irish whip. There goes Andre. 
But Hogan reversed it. And Hogan is now, he's throwing them right hands at Andre. But Andre catches him by his head and he and he grabs him. Oh, shit. Avalanche. The avalanche into the corner and Hogan just falls down, clutching his chest. Oh, a hip toss on Andre the Giant. That's right, brother. What's he going to do? I'm coming for you. Oh, he's got him up. What's he going to do? Oh, he body slammed Andre the Giant. Like what, like what he did at Rumble He just three. body slammed Andre the Giant. Hogan's going to throw him into the ropes after that body slam. Oh, and there's the big boot. He's going into the ropes. The leg drop. They, these and two Andre's have, down. These two have so much respect for each other. They're not even going outside the ring to get a weapon. Oh, my God. Hogan did it. He did it. Oh, Andre kicks out of the big boot. For this man, and Hogan slams Andre again. What? This looks like a replay from WrestleMania 3. And Hogan's calling to the crowd. Oh, and he kicks Andre again. Hogan has showed his 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 strength in this matchup, but Andre's fighting back. He's got Hogan this time. Oh my God, Hogan with a backbreaker on that huge knee. Andre's going outside. Can you believe this? Hogan's going to follow him out. Hogan's going to follow him out. Oh, and he's going after... Oh, Andre tried to grab a table. And these two men are going at it. Oh, he slams... Hogan, oh, that almost went through the announce table. What is he doing? Then again, would you be surprised? What's Hogan doing? He's grabbing those off while Andre grabs a trash can. Oh, Hogan's got him. Oh, and he slams him on the trash can. Another body slam. Oh, the trash can's flat. He flattened the trash can with that body slam. Hogan's got him. Hogan's going to pick him up. Andre looks like he is done. He's as tired as it gets. Hogan rolls him into the ring. Elbow. What's Hogan got planned now? He's picking up Andre, the big man. He's throwing Irish whip into the corner. No, Andre caught him. And Andre's got him. Oh, my God. That big ham hock of an arm across the chest of, of Hulk Hogan. Hogan's getting up. Oh, and he takes an elbow to the head. Andre steps on his midsection. Hulk Hogan better get his stuff done now because Andre. Oh, Hogan kicked him right in the balls. And then a <laughs> shoulder block. In the balls. Andre's in serious trouble right now, guys. Andre gets atomic drop. That had to hurt. This match has been epic. These two men are going at it again. Oh, Andre's arm stuck in the rope. What's going to happen here? Oh, Hogan kicks him. He's going to drag oh, him bottom, out here. Bro. Look at the... Oh, no. He drags him out. And Hogan's going for a slam again. He's got him. And now what? What's Hogan got planned now? Oh, he's going to do it. There goes the, the big leg drop. And that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. No way Andre's getting up from another leg drop. And he does it. He slays the giant again. Hulk Hogan again. Reminiscent of WrestleMania 3. He has won. Andre the Giant, the only person in the WWE that's ever beat Andre the Giant one-on-one. -on -one. Well, I think the Warrior did too. But is Hulk Hogan... In the, I'll tell you what, Hogan's got Andre's number. That's just that simple. But Andre's beat Hogan before, too. I think this match was better than WrestleMania 3. It means there was a lot more involved. There was a lot more anger built up. Absolutely. And they also went to the point where they used weapons. Beautiful. This was a beautiful match. Hogan's celebrating. Andre's down. He beats Andre for the second time. Brother, Hulk Hogan is back in the WWE. And he is victorious here on SmackDown. If Hogan can beat Andre still, he can beat anyone, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, Hogan! And this wasn't even the main event. This wasn't even the main event, Wait, ladies and more? gentlemen. What? There's more? Yes, there's still more. I have more, all right. <laughs> yes, we still got more, and it's coming soon. Oh, wow. Well, that's, well, Andre's outside the ring. Yes, he is.
<laughs> and Hogan celebrate. Tell him, brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here comes the main event. Let's see what we got. Let's oh, see boy. what we got. The main event. What do we got? Oh, my God. An Extreme Rules match. The Ultimate Warrior making his return, obviously, to SmackDown against Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt has been playing mind games with everybody. Question is, is his mind games enough to get into the head of the Ultimate Warrior? This kind of reminds me of Papa Shango and Ultimate Warrior. Well, it shouldn't because Bray Wyatt's nothing like Papa Shango. No, I'm saying that in the sense that they are both good at getting to their opponent's head. And here comes the warrior running down the ring. One of the best of all time. The ultimate warrior. Here he comes. He's got his hand. Can, pop, can Bray Wyatt pull off the upset, which would be a huge upset, and put himself among the top contenders? He's been all week long on Twitter. He's been posting about the warrior. He's been posting mind games with the warrior. And Bray Wyatt says tonight is the night that he will make a monster out of the ultimate warrior. I don't necessarily think you can make mind games on Twitter. Yes, he can. He has said that he knows. He is. He knows the evil that's inside the warrior. He knows the aggressiveness. He knows the warrior inside of the warrior, and he's going to bring him out. Wow. That's some deep stuff. <laughs> it is some deep stuff. Bray Wyatt's made it very clear he's going to take warrior back to parts unknown. Bray Wyatt, who has also recently joined up with Hell's Gate, Undertaker, Kane. Is he trying to recruit the warrior into Hell's Gate? Is, does Hell's Gate need a warrior? The dark side. One warrior nation. It is possible. The warrior who has stood for so much light. Bray Wyatt has made it very clear he's fooling himself that real warriors don't need the light. The darkness is what fuels warriors. We'll see what happens here. Wow, this is, this is really, you're going really deep right now. <laughs> that is indeed. Bray Wyatt, hey. I speak for Bray he said, Wyatt. He said it all week long. He, it's not about winning or losing. He said with him, it's about bringing out the best in all of his followers. He's made it very clear, Warrior needs to follow as well. Become a warrior for Hell's Gate, he says. Why are you so deep in what you say? And here it comes. Come on, be sure. I'm on fire. And Bray Wyatt goes right after the Warrior. What's going to happen here? Oh, he gets into the guts of the, of the Warrior. The Warrior's trying to fight back, but Bray Wyatt. The Warrior seems like he's in a trance right now. Bray Wyatt. But he, does, he is fighting back. It's almost like the soul that is in the Warrior is trying to fight back. And everybody has been concerned about Bray, Wyatt, Bray Wyatt's ability to brainwash and control people's minds. And the Warrior's flexing. What the hell? And Bray, that pissed Bray Wyatt off. Bray Wyatt's trying to change fundamentally who the Ultimate Warrior is. Stop! You're being extremely deep in your commentary. And there it goes. He's got the Warrior up. Bray Wyatt. He said he suplexes with a specific anger to try to bring out the intensity in the Warrior. <laughs> Bray Wyatt, who left the Wyatt family alone on Raw. He, he's, Bray Wyatt's made it very clear. He led them to the light. He led them to find themselves. They no longer are in need of his guidance. He's made it clear the warrior is in need of his guidance. Bam! He's welcome in Hell's Gate. Will the warrior join Hell's Gate? It's, a, it's symbolic that old man warrior is wearing light colors today. Absolutely. And Bray Wyatt looks just so dark. And you know, the warrior is probably trying to find the light into Bray Wyatt. The warrior said there's no the warrior follows no man. 
But Bray Wyatt is here to differ. He begs to differ. Oh, Bray Wyatt, Bray Wyatt! He lands on the Undertaker. The Undertaker, like I said, he looks like he's in a, in a daze. And he nails the big splash. Bray Wyatt's got him now. Oh, that's Sister it! Abigail. That's it! There's no way the Warrior's getting Sister up from Abigail, it. Sister Abigail, he said the one who motivated him to be like He drags the Warrior. He could pin the Warrior, but he's not. He's 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 not done with the Warrior. It is extreme rules. He's going in to get a chair. He's going to try to... Oh, the Warrior takes the shot. Bray Wyatt. He throws the chair on top of him, and he goes for the cover. The Warrior kicks out, though. Bray Wyatt's not done. Neither is the Warrior. Bray Wyatt's trying to send a message to the Warrior right now. And he kicks him right in the dick. Look at that. Oh, huge DDT. Bray Wyatt lands it. And he's going back to get the chair again. Oh, and he's... Oh, the Warrior's in serious trouble. He's taking a beating. The Warrior trying to fight back, but he, he looks like he's in a trance. Oh, the Warrior's got him this time. He's got him up for a suplex. He's holding him up. You see the power of the Warrior right there. But the Warrior, there, there's something different about it. Now he's going out to get a chair himself. Bray Wyatt's laughing in the ring. He's laughing. He realizes he's bringing it. He's bringing it out of the warrior. The warrior's attacking him with a baseball bat. Bray Wyatt. Oh, he takes the bat from him. And there he nails it. Bray Wyatt. He's laughing as he's hitting him in the head with a baseball bat. He knows what he's just awoken in the warrior, and that's what he wanted. He wanted to awaken the warrior. Oh, he's got him. He turns him around. Oh. Sisters have it on the outside. And he re grabs the bat. Oh. He's trying to kill the ultimate warrior. Bray Wyatt is doing something to the warrior we've never seen done. And he's throwing him into the ring. He's grabbing his bat first before he goes back in, though. Bray Wyatt's got the bat. Oh, and he nails him again. And he throws down the bat. He's going to go for the cover. That's got to be it. One, two, and three. Bray Wyatt has defeated the legendary Ultimate Warrior. The Ultimate Warrior, I don't know if we will ever see that man wrestle again. The beating he took tonight at the hands of Bray Wyatt. Then again, is on the a, Ultimate Warrior is powered by the is, gods. But uh, then again, Bray Wyatt says he is a god. Right, Bray, right now, the beating, I don't know if we'll ever see the Warrior again. I don't think he has much of a choice if he wants to stay in this WWE. It's either Hell's Gate or it looks like he's going to be facing stuff like this all the time. Bray Wyatt laughs as this match is over. I don't think he's done. I don't think he's done at all. Warriors down there holding his gut. But you saw the Warrior grab the baseball bat. Bray Wyatt indeed did bring the darkness out. Of the Ultimate Warrior. I just think he brings the dark out. This, it's not in Ultimate Warrior. I think he's not in the darkness. I think the Warrior done. done something he's never done before. In a match, he picked up a weapon. I've never seen the Ultimate Warrior in the history of his career pick up a weapon. If you guys enjoyed this episode of SmackDown, make sure you hit the thumbs up and you rate. Let us know who won the ratings war this week. Bray Wyatt standing tall at the end of SmackDown. What a huge SmackDown. We saw Hogan Andre. We saw Goldberg Brock Lesnar. And we saw Bray Wyatt controlling the mind of the Ultimate Warrior. Make sure you subscribe. Hit us up later. In our next episode, we will be back on Raw. Remember, main event has been canceled. We'll see you all next time.